Hi everyone, Red Feather here. Um, today I am doing an unboxing video for my Japan crate I got. And for those who don't know, this is a wig, I promise. My hair is not this long, this yellow, or this poofy in real life. Um, or blonde. It is bright yellow, I promise. It just looks super blonde. And kind of makes me look super pale. Wow. Um, anyways, but my premium crate of Japan crate game today. This box is giant compared to my last one. I don't know if you can see it oh, on this side. It's like bulging because you're so, it's really heavy. I don't know if it says how much, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's heavy. So we will get into it if I can figure out how to open it because I seem to always have trouble with that. Um, I'm excited because this is their biggest box and it always has a drink every month that I might need to put in the fridge before I try it, but we'll see. Oh, it's so big. Look at that. Oops. Look at that. So much. The box is so cute. I love it. So first of all we have, oh it's like a booklet now. Maybe that's just for the premium boxes. The one I had was just one page. So they have a booklet. I'm pretty sure this will tell, um, like the what's in it and that kind of thing. Um, we'll just go through it so you guys can see it. Maybe, you know. I don't know how well this will focus. I love my, my wig is like flashing between yellow and blonde. I'm sorry if that bugs anyone. Um, and it's got a little comic in it, apparently, which I will read later. Uh, and then this is the September crate, and it's got all of the items there, which I will read as I try it, so that I'm not, like, ridiculously surprised. I probably should be, because surprises are fun, I guess, but, oh well. Uh, anything else important? Let's see, oh, there's DIY do-it-yourself kits in this one, so they have instructions for that in the thing. That's actually really nice, because he did it before, and it was really hard to figure out what to do. So, we'll start off. Uh, the first thing that catches my eyes, this Bulgurt. Oh, sorry, that's really hard to see. Um, I guess I should open that and see. They look like they're going to be have something inside them, maybe? Uh, let's see. This fruity, crunchy candy comes in two flavors. Blueberry yogurt. Of course it is yogurt. Fulgurt. <laughs> um, and mango yogurt. Which is your favorite? Probably the blueberry. Oh, they even have nutrition facts in English. That's amazing. You can't see that at all. It's really bright. Maybe I should close the window. Um, I'm the problem is I get the... I'm okay, I promise. I just have issues. Oh, they're individually wrapped. Well, look at that. That's fancy. Oh, that smells really good. Um, I think they're just two colors. I mean, I'm assuming they'd be... I'm going to assume the blue is the blueberry, and the... It's actually red. Red is the mango. Oh, yeah, look at that. It has it. You can't see that at all. Never mind. But there is the fruit on the back. That one you can kind of see. Let's do this for a bit and see if that works a little better. A little bit. Maybe. You can. Ah, oh, it's still fairly bright. Okay. And so we're going to start with the blueberry. Like they'd be like sour candies. I'm assuming they're not, but oh, it smells. They kind of smell like Skittles. That's weird. <laughs> well, that's not really hard candy. Did it say that? Crunchy candy. Oh, that's weird. It's like. But it 
kind of has like a corn chip taste to it. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I didn't get any water. That was really stupid. I'll be right back. I'm back with water this time. <laughs> that should have done that in the first place, but it will. Um, and I'll try the mango now. This is so weird. I'm not really sure I like the texture that much. It's like... Yeah, it's very mango-y smelling. It's just so weird to me. Oh. <laughs> Let's lick it before we eat it. That's smart. That one's really mango. Boop. I almost think I like that better than the blueberry. That's still really crunchy. Ooh. Um, alright. Mmm, I see a pocky looking box in there. Ooh! Okay, hold on. Water first. Pito? Come. I don't. I probably screwed that up. I'm so sorry, people. Um, this actually has English on the back instead of Japanese. This is so cute. They look like the little star candy thingies from Hamtaro. Oh my gosh. Let's go. There's a zipper on this one. Right, let's read what it says first. Uh, let's see. A very traditional Japanese candy from the 16th century. Uh, check out the featured candy on page six to learn all about these colorful sugar drops. Page six, let's see. Conpito, Conpito, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Is made of simple, unflavored sugar. It was first introduced to Japan by Portuguese traders in the 16th century. The word Conpito, or however you pronounce it, comes from the Portuguese word for con confito? Conf confito? I don't... Darn foreign words, anyways. <laughs> um, meaning confection or candy. Today, confito, I'm just going to say that because it's easier, comes in a variety of different colors, flavors, and themes. Special confito are often limited edition made specifically for certain seasons or regions in Japan. Let's see, did you know? If these candies take 7 to 13 days to produce, wow, because they are made by repeatedly coated sugar syrup on top of a coarse sugar core. Oh. The soup ball spirits in Mi Miyazaki's, Miyazaki's, I know how to pronounce that one, I really do, a uh, spirited way are fed these. I wondered why they looked really familiar. That would make sense. They do still look like the candies from Pamtaro going with that. Um, oh, this wig is not liking me very much. Oh well. Oh, I opened that one. It's amazing. It's just sugar. Sugar. In color. That's... I need sugar right before dinner. That's a wonderful idea. Why did I pick orange? It's like the hardest one to see. Green. There we go. Blue. Little. There you go. I don't know why I smelled it. It's not going to smell like anything. Still have that mango flavor. Should drink more water. These are really good. Mmm. It tastes like that, the, um, crystal. The hard candy. They're like on a stick. But it's just sugar. Like this. Rock candy, maybe? Is that what they're called? Rock candies? That's kind of what it's like. The smaller. These are really good. Can I just buy a box of these, please? Thank you. Fortunately, we don't have anything like this. Maybe I can find them on Amazon. Next, we have another bag. That was a pretty big bag. Um, I probably 
that I don't know because I can't pronounce any of that, obviously. Um, chips, I'm assuming. This also has the English nutrition back on the back. Uh, this says they are maybe potato chips, seaweed, not that sea salt, that definitely not sea salt, seaweed and salt. Salt and seaweed flakes give these chips an unusual crunch not found in mo bleh, not found in most American chips. They're flavorful and unforgettable. Oh boy. They actually look like sour cream and onion and potato chips. Oh. Oh. It's pretty good. It's not a strong flavor. I and mean, they're really salty. That's a really big chip. But it's like... Really tasty seaweed at first. It just kind of goes away to being really salty. That's really good, actually. But still, I got some snow pea. They weren't chips, but they were chip like. They were like shaped like snow pea and tasted like one. Those were still the best thing I've ever had, I think. I think, I think. There's so much in here. Oh my gosh. And something that looks like a fish. I hope this is chocolate because it kind of looks like it could be. Actually, can you see that? I, I used to do the videos, so I don't know what you can and what you can't see, so I'm sorry if I mess it up. Uh, let's see. Glug Glug Want Chocolate. Teyaki is one of the most traditional Japanese snacks. Why it seemed familiar. Usually, teyaki are made of waffle like batter and filled with sweet red bean or other flavors and served hot at festivals. This teyaki is filled with airy chocolate mousse for a crunchy experience. <laughs> chocolate, it must be good. I'm assuming. for like, you can kind of see the chocolate in there. Which way do we eat first? Mmm. 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 It tastes like those wafer snacks. I like the, that was really crumbly. The cookies have like wafers and um, they're like rectangle bars. Tastes like. That's a really good. It's in the shape of a fish. It's so cute. I'm going to do this on the table next time. My bad. Um, and the drink the premium crate comes with is I'm going to assume this is Ramu soda. Um, I've actually had something like this carbonated soft drink. Lychee? It's not gonna be like lychee, but in a different. These are actually okay warm, so I'm gonna maybe drink it. Uh, lychee Ramoon. That was bright. Ha! 
lychee is really good. I had some haichu that was flavored like that, so this is actually pretty exciting. I was a little scared it was going to be really weird flavored. Um, lychee is a yummy tropical fruit that perfectly suits this rum moon with its refreshing fruity flavor. Use the marble and cap to pop open the top and enjoy this fizzy drink. Okay, I had issues opening this last time. Um, so I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna go. If I'm gonna like spill it because. take this and you like don't do that actually that's a bad idea <laughs> you take pop that out and then you take this and push it but I can't do that without potential spillage on the bed and that would be bad and I'd have to wash the blanket not that that's very hard Now it's the little balls down there. Okay. There we go. I can't really see that. Ta da! I need to drink out of that. And I did learn that apparently if you drink it like this, the ball will not go up. Who knew? YouTube videos are inf informal. Informational. <laughs> Cat dog. It smells really good. It was super carbonated. That was not a good idea. It was really good. Definitely would be better cold, but it's actually not that warm, so. That's good. It's really fizzy here. I should have saved that up. Make sure that not everything tastes like lychee. This is gonna be such a long video. I'm so sorry. Um, then all of these come with a bonus item. This one out of his egg is uh let's see good gutty tama or good tama if you sell it e i don't know uh that's like the laziest egg in japan he gets his name from good or good or i don't know english is hard <laughs> much less english in another language doesn't make any sense. Uh, Japanese for someone with no energy and Tama from Tamago. Japanese for egg. Does that mean the character in Big Hero 6 is Go Go Egg? Basically. I don't know. Same. Is it different if it's name? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to edit this a lot. Oh boy. Um, give this special Senryu Gesh. Gesh Hoppin. Gesh Keychain to your laziest friend, or keep it for those lazy days when you'd rather just stay in bed. Well, out of all my friends, I'm pretty sure I am the laziest. So, <laughs> uh, he's like little in the egg. He's like laying in the egg. That's really cute, actually. That's a little dirty. It's a purple on the egg. That's cute. I like it. Uh, next up is something that looks like it's going to be grape flavored and probably gum. Maybe I should keep this last. I don't know. I hate it. This like, makes things super blue. This is like super purple looking, but it looks really blue. Open. I like those ones. This is... Is it that? It looks different. Nada de Coco Grape Coco co 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 Grape Gummy? It's a sweet jelly made from coconut water. Coco okay, I did do that right. Whew. Combine the chewy sweetness of Nada de Coco with grape gummies and you have an experience that's sure to surprise and delight. 
We'll see about that. Are they square like they say they are? I like they are. Look at that. These are also super purple even though you can't tell. They're squishy. I like it. And they're super grape. Super grape smelling. I don't know, they smell like something. Are they all? Okay, it looked like a different color and I was like, is there just one in there and it's like random different color? Mmm, I love gummies. Gummies always have a weird texture. They're like... I don't know how to explain it. Well, it's pretty good though. I like, I like grape candy a lot though. Never used to. Um, then the next thing is their DIY. Um, thing. I'm pretty readable instructions. I'll probably do a separate video, maybe for this and like combine it in this video. I don't really feel like doing this on my bed, so I might do that at the table. Uh, next up, we have something that looks potentially like a lollipop. Uh -huh. Um, oh, and the, the DIY thingy on here says. Uh, assemble and decorate your own toilet. Receive one of four countries, China, Japan, France, or the U.S. Find full instructions on page 10 and check out our instructional video. I don't know what I get until I open it, but I want to know. Okay, and then the lollipop looking thing is... Lollipop, lollipop packs a three-in-one surprise. Check out the featured candy on page 7 to learn more. That sounds kind of terrifying. Kawarimbo. This is a 3-in-1 candy delight for when you just can't decide what kind of sweet you prefer. This candy appears to be a regular grape and apple lollipop, but on the inside there is a moon flavored secret waiting to be found. And just when you think the experience is over, you discover that the lollipop stick is actually a stick of cold flavored gum wrapped up in plastic. Just peel away and enjoy it. That's really cool, actually. I like it. I like surprises. I don't like this stuff. Okay, apparently I'm just gonna open it like that. Whew! <laughs> this is really cold flavored. So weird looking. It's like one side's clear and the other side's purple, and then there's something in the middle. That's so weird. I see apple side definitely, and this must be the grape. Uh huh. The grape candy is so weird. It's like not grape. Grape and apple flavor. Interesting mixture. And then it's got like, that's so cool. That's really good. Neat. I like it. The packaging is so. Sorry, I can get it back in the package. Probably not. It's so like colorful. Arms are like really lean. Mm. Ooh, things that look like Pocky. It is Glyco. Pretz. Sweet corn flavored. I do like corn. So this could be good. Maybe. I always have issues opening this. Always. I don't know why. Whatever. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Totally, kind of, yeah. Whoops. <sighs> so strong smelling. So these are like pretzels, basically baked snack sticks. Just a stick. 
that smells like corn. No, it doesn't smell that great, actually. But it might taste good. Enjoy the taste of summer with these pretz. They taste just like the buttered, salted sweet corn you enjoy at a barbecue. If I don't salt my sweet corn. It tastes like corn. Whoa. That's really good. I don't think I could eat a lot of them. It's really sweet. It's like a weird kind of sweet. Whew. Look at salty too. Whoa, don't use that much salt in corn. Jeez. And chocolate. Looking like a Pocky sort of thing, but not in the same brand, I don't think. This one's Meiji. Meiji. Um, what does this say? Let's see. Meiji Fran chocolate cream. Meiji's taken on Pocky, and each thick cookie stick is made with real butter and covered in a generous layer of whipped, ch whipped chocolate cream. Open. What the heck? Oh, and they're like individually sort of not. There's like three different things in there. You give one to your three friends for not. Why would I share chocolate? No. Oh, those are really thick. It's like a pretzel stick. Whoa. There's no way these could be bad. It's like butter and chocolate. That's really good. Mm. It's really good chocolate too. Oh, it's not like super sweet. And the last thing, I think, let me make sure you have everything. Mm, mm, mm. This last thing looks like it's gonna be amazing. Oh, super heavy. Holy crap. That is a heavy thing. In there. Lemon squash. Okay, now that doesn't sound good. It's squishy. <laughs> I don't want to feel good. Uh, lemon squash is the name for lemonade in Japan. Lemon. I don't know how you feel about this. It's especially popular with children because it's not too fizzy. You can drink your lemonade squash right out of the bottle, or if the taste is too strong, pour it over ice or mix with water. So, is it like a bottle that comes in a plastic bag? I don't really have things like this in the States, and I'm just... How do I open it? <laughs> do I just suck? I don't understand if it's all in Japanese. Any more info on this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't... I just want to, like, break something off, and then... Have it be... Because that would suck. I feel like. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna look this up. Because I definitely do not. I can. I don't really want lemonade all over my bed. It's so weird. It's squishy. I thought it was gonna be something completely different. Again, lemon squash. Lemon squash. 
realized that this deal for Japan Crate should have had a free mini crate with it too, but I only got one. I don't know if it's just slower, maybe. I'll have to email them about that. Um. USA ones that actually are lemon and squash drinks. And that's definitely not what I want because uh, there we go. Food guide. Maybe that'll help. I just I mean you know like pushing I don't know what to do. probably get scissors for this. Don't do this at home, kids. glass and chill it maybe. It's so weird. Anyways, that is everything. That's a lot actually and some pretty good stuff this time. Um, I'm really happy with the, the soda over here and those chips were actually pretty good even though the seaweed is kind of a little weird. And these best things ever. Get a chance to try these it. If you like sugar, I guess. If you don't like sugar, you probably won't like any of this stuff, really. So that's everything. Hopefully, I can cut this down and it won't be 30 minutes. Whoops. Oh well. See ya.